All right, uh, this was the definition of a partial derivative. So now how do we compute partial derivatives in practice? Uh, in practice, we seldom use the definition. So maybe in some special cases, I don't think that you will see these special cases in engineering math, but well, it's, it's good to know the definition too. Anyway, so um, partial derivative of a function of two variables um, is, it's just the following thing. So we fix, the, in order to differentiate with respect to x, you fix y to be constant, and then you get a function of x and differentiate it with respect to x, right? So which essentially means that you are differentiating a function of x, and you can apply the usual rules of differentiation uh, that you are familiar with in order to do that, right? So, um, and the, the same thing is for the partial derivative with respect to y. So here is how we do it. Um, so what is the partial derivative of x squared y cubed with respect to x? So when we differentiate with respect to x, y cubed is a constant, right? So I mean, you can think of it, I don't know, like y cubed is 2022. So you can factor it out. So it does not affect the, the result. So, and then when you differentiate the constant times x squared, what you get is 2x times that constant, y cubed. In, in the same way, when you differentiate with respect to, um, to y, d, d over dy, uh, x squared, y cubed, now x squared is a constant, right? So you just, just, just write it because it, it's, a, it's a constant factor, times the derivative of y cubed, which is 3y squared. So this is 3x squared, y squared. So it's just as kind of, um, you, you need to get used to it, but it, it's not um, super challenging. You need to get used to it. So it is a good idea to uh, to do a bit of practice, right? So um, here is the, the second example. So let me do it the, the first way first. I mean, um, let me first do it by finding um, f of, by substituting one, um, as y. Since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x, it means that y is fixed. So f of x1 is x cubed plus x squared times 1 cubed minus 2 times 1 squared, so which is x cubed plus x squared minus 2. Right? So the derivative of the, the, this function, so d over dx, f of x1 is 3x plus 3x squared plus 2x, right? So which means that my partial derivative fx of 2, 1 uh, is really I need to substitute 2 as x and well, 1, sorry, 1 I already substituted. So that, that, that's all. Um, so 3 times 2 squared plus 2 times 2. Um, so 3 times 2 squared is 4, plus 4, which is 12, plus 4, so this is 16. Okay, so th this was the familiar method, right? I mean, we already um, saw it in, in the first part of the lecture. Now, um, instead of doing that, we can just differentiate the whole thing. Um, Right, so the, the, the function is um, x cubed, right? So we have function is x cubed plus x square y cubed minus 2y squared, right? So we want I, I want to differentiate this with respect to x. The derivative of the first term with respect to x is 3x squared plus. The second term, uh, y cubed now is a constant. So I'm, I'm going to just differentiate to the, the x squared and get 2x times y cubed. And uh, the derivative of y with respect to x, y is a constant. So its derivative is zero. All right, so what I get is really 3x squared plus 2x y cubed. And now I need to plug in x equals 2 and y equals 1 into this expression and the answer is of course 16 again uh, you can you can check it it's 
it's not very hard it's just a straightforward computation okay uh, so let me just do a bunch of examples of differentiation uh, you know just to um, to give you some um, some I don't know practice examples that, that you can um, refer to so now I'm going to differentiate the, the same function with respect to y right so uh, the derivative of um, f with respect to y is what so x cubed differentiated with respect to y is zero because x is you know with respect to y x is a constant plus x square is a constant times the derivative of y cube is 3y squared minus 2y squared the derivative of 2y squared is what is what is 4y okay um so now the derivative um of the this function evaluated at the point 2 1 is basically this expression only i need to substitute 2 for x and 1 for y so i get 2 squared times 3 times 1 squared minus 4 times 1 and i believe that this is going to be 8 and yeah that's the answer all right um so slightly more complicated example um it has a sine function so how can we do that? So uh, what is df d, dx? Well, now this is um, a composite function. So it, this is sine of something. So in order to differentiate it, we first differentiate the sine. So the derivative of sine is cosine. So cosine of x one plus one times now we've got to differentiate this expression inside the sign with respect uh, to uh, to x. And so what is the derivative of x over 1 plus y with respect to x? Now with respect to x, 1 over 1 plus y is just a constant, right? And the derivative of x is, is 1, so we, we get 1 over 1 plus y. So times 1 over 1 plus y. And that's the answer. Okay, let, let me do the derivative with respect to y now. Uh, it is more complicated, slightly more complicated. So the derivative with respect to y. The, the first step the same, yeah? so we've got to differentiate the sign and its derivative is cosine times now i've got to differentiate whatever sits in inside sign with respect to y so i've got to find the derivative of uh, x over one plus y with respect to y well and now x is a constant so i can take it out and now i need to differentiate one over one plus y so basically i've got to find the derivative of one over one plus y well, and again, um, I'm not sure if you still remember, then let me probably do it in, in more detail. So now in order to do this, I need to rewrite this as one plus, oh, I need, um, I want to rewrite it as one plus y to the power negative one, All right? So when I differentiate this, I'm going to differentiate the power function Right, so its derivative is going to be the power minus one. So I'm going to get minus two times the derivative of whatever is inside, but its derivative is one. So I'm going to get x times one plus y to the negative two. Okay, and that's essentially the answer. Maybe it is better to rewrite it in this kind of more compact form x over one plus y squared times cosine of x one plus y. Well, I think I forgot to insert the minus sign. Yeah. I forgot the minus sign because the derivative 
uh, with respect to x of x to the power n of a is a times x to the a minus 1. So in, in my case, uh, this a was negative 1, so I've got to multiply by negative 1. And so this is what I've got to do. So now, 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 now it's correct. All right, so that's the answer. Um, okay, so uh, here is another example. Let me do this one. Um, so how do I differentiate this with, with respect to x? First term, so I'm going to differentiate x. Its derivative is 1. Sine y is a constant, so it's just sine y. Next term, 3, the derivative of uh, e to the 3x is 3 times e to the 3x, and the rest of the expression is constant with respect to x. So I'm going to just uh, re rewrite it, y squared plus 9 times z. Okay, um, So what is the derivative with respect to y? First term. So now x is a constant, so I'm going to just write it. Times the derivative of sine is, is cosine y plus... Now these two terms are constants, so uh, e to the 3x and z, I can just um, copy them. But now I've got to write the derivative of the, the, this function. This is the square root, and the square root is essentially the power 1 half. So it's the derivative of y squared plus uh, 9 to the 1 half. So I'm going to have 1 half times this to the power negative 1 half. So let me write it 1 half times y squared plus 9 to the negative 1 half times the derivative of whatever is inside, which is 2y. So now let me just simplify it a little bit. So 2, 2 cancels out. And to the power of negative 1 half is the same as divided by the square root. So let me rewrite it a little bit. Polish it up. Um, this is going to be uh, y divided by square root of y squared plus 9. Okay, and the, the last one is, um, is I guess, uh, z. So now with respect to z, this term just disappears because it does not contain z. And the, this term is, is linear in z. So the derivative with respect to z is somewhat simple. It's just e to the 3x times um, square root of y squared plus plus nine. Right, okay. Um, well, somehow it is not the answer. I guess that there's been type of error here. Okay, okay. Um, I, I, I will fix it. So this is not the correct answer because, uh, you know, I, I think what it appears to be that uh, the square root ends, ends here. <laughs> Well, and I calculated it, you know, under the assumption that the square root ends, ends here. So I am going to update this, this slides. Don't, don't worry about it. Okay. Um, so one more example. <laughs> Again, so here fx is, let me just quickly go through it. So I'm going to differentiate this with respect to x. Uh, the derivative of e to anything is just the same, e to the xy times, uh, I've, I've got to differentiate the um, exponent here with respect to x. And the derivative of the, this exponent with respect to x, um, so the derivative, sorry, um, the derivative of x, y with respect to x is y. So I'm going to get y times along z. Now, fy, by the same logic, is going to be e to the x, y. Now, the derivative of x, y with respect to y, and it is x times along z. And now, fz is, well, 
to compute uh, the derivative with respect to, to z. So notice that this whole term is just a constant with respect to z. So it is e to the x y times the derivative of logarithm and it is one over z. And that's that's it. Okay, so that's how we compute uh, partial derivatives. So now please do the little quiz. Uh, 